transthyretine wild type amyloidosis is a big challenge and is uh, uh, still uh, um, a really increasing disease because of increasing awareness. And um, uh, we know that um, uh, identifying patients that, that are at high risk of mortality can be a challenge, but and uh, um, it is not um, possible to consider only age as a predictor of mortality. So we studied our uh, retrospective cohort on approximately 700 patients, and we found that only a combination of uh, the use of um, cardiac troponin, uh, age, uh, performance status according to the ECOG um, scale, and then TPRO-BMP allowed us to identify a subset of approximately 5 to 8 percent of patients that have a really high risk of mortality in the first 18 months. So these subjects probably are those uh, with a higher risk uh, in which uh, the introduction of uh, the, ter the, the uh, ongoing therapies has to be um, can be questionable, but also uh, probably this patient has to be treated with uh, more aggressive and more uh, uh, new options or uh, in order to try to obtain a response and an improvement in survival. So we really believe that uh, for this uh, patient population is not just one parameter that allow us to identify the iris patient, but a combination of different parameters and cardiac biomarkers can, be really, can play really a great role in this. Thank you.